There are two S's in the world of lawn trimming, speed and shape. Consider the samurai. With a relatively lightweight blade, he can slice through a full-grown African elephant in a single motion, given that he's pulled the proper hunting permits. There's your speed. <laughs> Consider the flat top haircut, one that has commanded respect and ignited fear in our bones ever since Rocky IV. Today we dive into full throttle edging and how to trim for the deepest green. This is the More Greener channel, let's get started. The key factor in a deep green lawn is eliminating anything in your lawn that isn't green. One of the biggest mistakes I see in lawn care is trimming too much, too low, and at a bad angle. What you end up with is damaged yellow grass stems that soon turn to weeds that will invade your lawn. The simple principle is to use the trimmer sparingly. There's no substitute for a well-sharpened lawnmower blade. Edge around your sidewalk and other obstacles as close to a 90 degree angle as you can and always run full throttle. In my last video, we talked about the importance of mowing tall and sharp blades. Click on my channel below to get in on that action. In my blade sharpening video, we took a macro lens look at three grass blades. The one on the very left was cut by a string trimmer. Notice the very significant damage the blade took. A string trimmer is just never going to give that perfectly healthy cut that a well sharpened blade is. But there is a way to mitigate that problem. Run full throttle. <coughs> now there's a few schools of thought on how much throttle to use when running your trimmer. Whether the issue be vibration, noise, or just personal preference. But as we learn from the samurai, with enough velocity, a lightweight blade can slice down an oak tree. Given that it's not a protected species, let's do an experiment. We're going to cut three different blades at three different speeds. Quarter, half, and full throttle. Let's see what happens. Okay, now that those are cut, let's take them over to the macro lens for comparison. Okay, so here's the first blade of grass, the one we cut at quarter throttle. Look how shredded to pieces that is. And here's the second blade of grass, looks a little bit better. And finally, the last one we cut, the one we cut at full throttle. Still not perfect, but this is the best way to mitigate the issue of torn up grass blades. In conclusion, a really green lawn doesn't appear from one secret element. It's a culmination of a lot of different facts that add up to a perfectly green lawn. A healthy trimming job is a key role in your green lawn. Today we learned about full throttle edging, but don't forget to check out our last videos like mowing tall and blade sharpening to the max. In the coming weeks we will dive into other key tips such as my fertilizing methods, why I always bag my clippings, and much much more. Please leave a like and subscribe to get in on this unique series and enjoy your greener lawn.